Hello, everybody. Big surprise. This is a surprise broadcast. I wasn't even, didn't even know I was going to be doing this right now. But I'm going to let a couple of you come on before I move on. And as well, I do want to share this with a couple other groups as well. So today is Thursday, October 3rd. I don't think I've done a an October, I'm sorry, a Thursday, a Thursday broadcast in a very long time. So let me just share this real quick. Hello. I don't think I've done a. Oh, yeah, we got an echo there. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm actually going to need notes for this because uh, there's a lot of uh, important details that I wanted to share about this particular announcement. So um, let me start off by welcoming you to this impromptu announcement broadcast. Uh, thank you for popping in. Hi, everybody. Hi, Antoinette. Hi, McKinsey. Hi, Shelly. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. It is, again, it's October 3rd, Thursday, and I want to thank you all for joining me to listen to this announcement. Uh, about, I want to say in April or May, I was contacted by an organization, a magical organization, uh, and they asked me to come on board. They are a nonprofit, and they are also uh, an education, an accredited educational um, school. Who knew? And it's very interesting, and I'll get more into that. So let me jump to the chase here. It was the great school of witchcraft and wizardry that reached out to me. It's literally the real life Harry Potter wizard school. <laughs> anyway, um, I, and I joke because it is a, it is a very serious organization. So. Uh, I did some research. I was like, do I want to be a part of this organization? And it's funny because I remember back when I was a part of the Unitarian Fellowship of South Florida, which is a, a very pagan-oriented, magical-oriented uh, fellowship within the Unitarian Church. Uh, one of the members was moving to California, and we were like, what are you doing? He's like, well, uh, somebody that knows somebody is starting this uh this magical school to teach teenagers and adults. And I was like, wow, that's really fascinating. And as I did more research, it turned out that it was no other, and it is no other than Oberon Zell, uh, the founder of the Church of All Worlds. And uh, if you remember, if you're a part of the community, you probably have heard of the Green Egg. I know it's no longer publishing, but all I know is that during my teen years and my 20s, you know, starting off in the magical world, uh, the Green Egg was a very important research to me. And Oberon Zell and Morning Glory Zell were like huge, you know, icons and leaders uh, to me. So when they reached out to me to be a part of uh, their teaching program, I, I, first of all, I was taken aback. I was very honored. And uh, needless to say, over the, la over the summer, uh, I have been working with them as a faculty initiate and uh, going through the training, the onboarding, and all of this, uh, trying to figure out where I would fit in best. So here it is. Uh, as of today, I am now a lector and instructor for the Gray School of Wizardry and Witchcraft. I am a part of the Department of Ceremonial Magic, and I will be teaching. I am teaching. I have already started. Uh, I'm starting with two classes. I'm going to be, I am teaching uh, Introduction to Ceremonial Magic as well as Foundations in Ritual and Ceremony. So that's it. I am working my way into becoming Dumbledore. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, I, I just want to say what a really cool honor it is to be working with one of my heroes, uh, Oberon Zell. Uh, for those of you that want to know a little bit of the history, I have something pulled up here I want to share with you because I am in really good company. So when the school was open back in 2002, um, Oberon Zell created the Great Council to, to, help get, uh, to help 
start the foundation of the school. Now, listen to who's on the Gray Council. Uh, Raymond Buckland, Raven Gramasi, Patricia Telesco, Frederick Lamont, Morning Glory Zell was, of course, uh, Donald Michael Craig, Caitlin Breen, Robert Lee, Skip Ellison, Jesse Wolf, Hardin, Nikki Scully, Sam Webster, Trina Robbins, Ronald Hutton, Amber Kay, one of my favorites, uh, Ellen Everett Hopman, Luke Sala, and Jeff McBride composed uh, the Great Council, and they produced the, uh, I guess we call the foundation of what the lessons were going to be about, called the Grimoire for the Apprentice Wizard and um, its companion. So it's fair to say I am in very good company. Uh, it's really quite an honor to be involved with this, uh, this school. Uh, it is an accredited school. Uh, I don't know what that means, how, how that plays and translates into, um, into academic, but it is very much based in academic study and academic work as well as spiritual and practical practices. As I said, I am going to be teaching uh, the foundations in ritual and ceremony, which happens to be one of my strong suits. Um, so, yes, I am now teaching at a magic school, <laughs> a real magic school. If you're interested, the name, uh, uh, the URL is grayschool.org. He named it after Gandalf the Gray, which I love. Uh, that's G-R-E-Y, not G-R-A-Y. So G-R-E-Y school.org. Uh, they actually do have a virtual campus, which I am trying to maneuver through. They have like a Second Life virtual campus uh, where they actually do rituals and enclaves and all these and teach classes. Um, right now, the, uh, the classes are essay based with uh, communication by email and whatnot uh, between the instructor, but uh, the instructor and the apprentice. But I'm looking forward to uh, we're going to start doing video classes. So I will. Uh, be moving forward into that realm and doing some video classes uh, either on the lessons uh, by Zoom or uh, as soon as I figure out how to use Second Life, I can do like uh, cl live classes on the virtual campus. Uh, they do have a magical store where you can buy really cool things like school rings and the books and all that kind of stuff. Uh, before I forget, I do want to thank uh, Ambika Devi, which is the faculty, the dean of faculty, who helped me, who helped walk me through this process. Uh, it's always a little, how shall we say, discombobulating to learn a new platform uh, and learn the ins and outs of any organization, especially an academic organization, because uh, whether we like it or not, there's a certain hierarchy involved and who to go to when you need this and what to press to do this. And so learning a new uh, platform and learning a new organization is uh, a little discombobulating. And she was very, very helpful. Uh, again, that's Ambika Devi. Uh, she's the Dean of Faculty. I actually have uh, a Dean that I work under. Uh, his name is Dean Freder at Servio. And, um, I never thought I'd be saying this. He, I am working under a 33rd degree Freemason. <laughs> I look forward to picking his brain for knowledge and learning more about uh, the esoteric and everything that he has uh, to offer. As well, I'm looking forward to, again, getting to know the apprentices and getting more involved with a new nonprofit organization. And I think that's what's really important to me is that it is a nonprofit organization. Uh, their focus is on teaching. Uh, the, the ages start at 13, so we are teaching teenagers and families uh, moving up to adults as well. So there are programs available for teens as well as adults. I got very involved in my magical studies when I was about 12 or 13, and it's important to have someone guide you through these things. I went about it all wrong. <laughs> I got involved with some pretty spooky stuff in the beginning, and uh, it's important to have good leadership uh, to teach you ethics and uh, guide you on the right path when you're dealing with uh, this type of work. So uh, I am very thrilled that uh, there is a school now for teenagers as well as families and, uh, and adults. So anyway, uh, that's really about it that I'm going to share for now. I will let you know. Just a reminder, if you would like to take a class with me, 
Uh, I am in the Department of Ceremonial Magic and am teaching the foundations of ritual and ceremony as well as an introduction to ceremonial magic. Um, so you can't call me Dumbledore yet, but I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, again, it's very thrilling to work with Headmaster Oberon Zell. Uh, it's such a, uh, it's literally a magical dream to be working uh, under him as the headmaster of the school, as well as all the wonderful people associated from Raven Grimasi to Amber Cade, Raymond Buckland, and all these uh, wonderful minds uh, that have been putting their knowledge and wisdom into the school. So anyway, uh, it's just the beginning of my path with them, and uh, I look forward to working with them for years to come. And uh, so it is Thursday. I just want to wish you all a very, very happy weekend. I love you. Uh, please remember, I will not be doing a live broadcast next week, but I will be back the following week. I love you. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.